they got us, man. They got us good. While we were sitting there worrying about some BS social issues that really didn't matter for anything. It's just everybody wanted to show their same social standings. The division of classes, whether they were voluntary or not. It, it was just anything that was a threat to our comfort was just front and center. And because of that, the corruption in governments got so rampant that you just can't get away from it. There was also the idiotic things like the media, the movies, everything was driving us freaking nuts, breaking us apart so we wouldn't do anything. Since everything was agenda driven and activists were fighting insanely hard, a lot of times physically, to try and push what they wanted, making everybody bow down and then those that wouldn't would simply be assaulted by roving gangs and crap like that, most of us were just done with it all just done just trying like hell to live normal lives at least as normal as things could be at that point when the next really big conflict started there was already brush fire wars and small conflicts all over this blue marble that was rocketing through space as is typical for all these giant conflicts that have the potential of ending so many people it's just the super rich silver dildo in the ass folks trying to outmaneuver each other, trying to get more and more money and power for themselves and using the populations as nothing more than pawns on a chessboard. That's all they saw is it's nothing but NPCs on a computer screen like some sort of strategic game. They tried to get everybody going, trying to get them riled up and saying all sorts of lies all over the damn place, but... Just like these old schmucks didn't understand, I say it all the time, welcome to the information age, assholes. The general public was no longer going to die for their self-righteous, moronic BS. They spit all their lies and everybody could dispute them within moments. And this seemed to piss off the slave masters that wanted us to go and fight and die. They began passing laws, directives, edicts, whatever they want to call them. And it did absolutely nothing to sway those that they actually needed on the front lines to win their own landholds for them. The truly patriotic citizens around the planet had already begun reclaiming their own lands back to their own countries and began the process of separating themselves from the chains that bound them to these self-righteous schmucks. As this happened, we watched and everybody claimed that, oh, here comes an alien invasion. But no one bought it, at least not the entire population. Even when there was so-called proof, most everybody just said, well, that's just CGI. Nothing's real anymore. We can't tell what's real anymore. I mean, seriously, some of the biggest names around the world that start with an N, end with an ASA, have been lying to us for so long that nobody believed it anyway. As nobody was biting at this, no one wanted to pick up arms and die in mass. And there was no other way for them to lower the human population, at least that's what we thought. Then, of course, it happened again. A virus swept across the world faster than the flood that Noah had to deal with. Everyone was offered, of course, a cure that seemed to kill the people they gave it to 20 to 50 percent of the time, those who took it. The backlash was severe and many wanted blood as those who were afraid immediately lined up to get this cure. And they didn't care about the bodies. They had to step over to get it. They wanted revenge. They were told they couldn't bring legal action. But like the man says, if you can't get justice in the courts, you're going to find it in the streets. Or in this case, in someone's house. Yet... All this barely scratched the numbers of humanity as everybody realized that this was almost a death sentence. Would you really want to trust your fate to flipping of a coin? Unfortunately for everyone else, this time the virus was real and really deadly. After a two-week incubation period, the loss of life would happen after four days after symptoms just barely began to appear. And the mortality rate? 90 to 100 percent it was horrible all this of course was blamed on the aliens and there was anger from everyone everybody wanted blood the kicker is thanks to the information age there was a certain undertone that came to the surface very 
very quickly in the form of information by anybody who's actually worked with seaburn. Anyone that had to deal with chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear type of diseases before knew how ineffective biologicals are, that is, unless you have a lot of help. The question is, how do you get something so dangerous behind enemy lines if this truly was something from aliens? You need assistance from the inside. As soon as the fact came out that seemingly all of the wealthy had made it to their underground bunkers, spoke louder than any words ever could. Around the world, everybody wanted a piece of these self-righteous assholes, and they went around welding the blast doors shut, or burying the openings under tons and tons and tons of earth and rock. They would also run out to the airflow inlets and outlets and seal them up completely. Or, they would get very interesting and think, well, how did they deal with this in World War II? They would simply start pumping the whole thing full of fuel, diesel, gasoline, kerosene, hell, even alcohol, and then light a match and watch it go. Usually doing this, you would have many of them running out trying to open those blast doors or running to their emergency exit, so you just sit back and wait until they pop up. Then you play whack-a-mole. Humanity's fury had no end, even on itself. Those that went after the general population found themselves on the receiving end of everyone's rage, and that was just the beginning. As it turned out, the alien attack that everyone thought was fake, well, at least at first, was real. They arrived in strange vessels and claiming they could save us, and we were wise to this already. Everybody understood problem, reaction, solution at this point, and the entire net was full of this. Of course, they tried to shut down the net, but everybody kept propping it up more and more and more, trying to get the information out. You cause a deliberate problem. You wait for everybody to have a unconscious reaction, which you've already figured out, and then you offer the solution that benefits you and not those that you create the problem with first. That is how that works. The kicker is we were wise to that because our own self-righteous super-rich had been doing this for a long, long time. The information age allowed us to talk to each other. And the Xenos, they didn't like that. Not one bit. They liked it even less as we began to shoot them down in mass as we wanted them to stay as far away from us as possible. Those that were still in the wealthy class that didn't want to end up like their predecessors realized that they had been sitting on tech, and to save their own ass, they finally released it to the public, if only to protect themselves from said public and the resulting lynch mobs that came from them. The gray alien forces, now seeing how aggressive all of humanity had become, decided that they would leave as fast as they could gather their people. The lizard folks, though, they enjoyed a good fight, and they wanted Earth after all. But they realized far too late that humanity was beyond pissed. Reaching the planet through portals and through their own faster than light travel ships. They reached the planet only to find out first they had to get through all sorts of directed energy weapons that could tear apart their larger ships. Then they had to fight their way through the missile swarm that was there, then the drones, then the fighters. Then if they got close enough, the artillery batteries, ground-based anti-air artillery. Then they, when they got to the ground, oh boy, that is where humanity shined. They quickly found so many projectiles coming at them along with explosives that their own personal protective shields proved completely ineffective. Especially when they realized that when human says they're going to hit you with a magnum, they're not talking about a prophylactic. After the fighting that sent many of the lizard folk ships down to the ground and crashed them, and allowed everybody to recover their technology and end the threat that was there that was not human. Everybody thought they could take a breath, but unfortunately things were not even close to being done. As it turned out, the bug they let loose that got everybody sick limited the children. Females would actually miscarry approximately 50% of the time, 
Surprisingly, those that they did carry the term were having birth defects at a zero percentage. That is, unless you count the issues that a child would eventually grow out of, or things that were so easily fixed that sometimes you just could leave it alone and there wouldn't be much of a problem. Things like jaundice or low-level autism, that sort of thing. Things that kids naturally grow out of. The real issue was actually with the male population. As it turns out, the Xenos realized it's easier to sterilize the men than the women when you're using some sort of biotampering. It seems like they were focused mostly on cities and suburban areas as those were most effective. Around the world, entire cities became completely incapable of creating children, even though you could have fun trying, of course. Rural areas, though, were not affected. If they were, it was 20% at absolute most. The Lezids must have figured this out because it was clear by the way they attacked that they left most of the cities alone and focused on the farmlands and the rural areas, not realizing that all farmers around the world carry boomsticks, and they are not afraid to use them. Not to mention most of them hunt, and most of these guys are able to shoot the dick off a fly at 300 meters, so they're not going to miss with high-velocity rounds. The casualties for the lizards was so, so very high that they tried like hell to leave. But nope, humanity wasn't going to let them leave. You come to this planet, you come in peace, and you leave in pieces. Well, now they're scattered in pieces all over this globe. Main reason is that every time they tried to leave, they found out that humanity was actually getting that new tech that had been hidden for them for so long. And this... Tech made it impossible for mass attacks to actually succeed. Not to mention, nukes still work. After the fighting had actually calmed down, everybody started freaking out to see if they were actually going to be able to keep their bloodline, if they were going to survive, if Earth was just going to go into shambles. So, of course, things had to be done to make sure attrition doesn't end up being our downfall. Humanity began to use the new tech that we had to regenerate and rejuvenate the bodies of those who could no longer reproduce. Though this can't help fertility, and they tried, even with the idea of severing reproductive organs and growing them back, it did not help with fertility. Whatever those Xenos did, it's permanent. And now, Pissed off soldiers, sailors, airmen, with decades of experience, don't have anything waiting for them back at the house. If they don't have any kids, they're not going to have any kids ever, which means you just took from them one of the most important parts of being human. Not only that, they're all in peak physical condition thanks to the regeneration and the rejuvenation. So now you have several million, if not several billion, of peak physical pissed off humans. Now that humanity has cut out all the cancers that had almost destroyed them due to their hubris, mainly by locking them in their bunkers and setting them on fire. We prepare to face those that tried and failed to take our planet. We know the gates they used, and we watch them carefully, getting ready to use them ourselves. We know their doctrine. It's very well documented, and we know what they can do. We know there is more than one way to reach them as well. As I sit here and look up at the screen, I see video of the fleet. It's beautiful and deadly. Makes me realize why they call it the Hemlock Fleet. I wish I could join them. I really do, but I can't. I'm stuck down here in this prison. Although some believe it's a blessing, but it really depends on your point of view. Those of us that were tested and found to still be fertile are deep underground in different bunkers. At best estimate, and I mean absolute best, there's only about 2,500 of us worldwide. But unfortunately, in some cultures, if the one in charge was not the fertile one, he just killed everybody else, fertile or not. It didn't matter. And so many more were lost in the fighting, so 
That 2500 if I had to wager a guess, is somewhere between 1000 and 1500 at absolute most. Though it's my job to assure that a next generation is born to refill our ranks, there are some definitely downsides to this, even though it looks like a blessing. I have to constantly take pills, medication, different shakes to constantly juice up this body in this meat suit. I'm constantly forced to regenerate over and over again, which is not as comfortable as you might think. We do have some creature comforts, of course, but for the most part, we're just hoping that we can keep going without breaking our own bodies and breaking our own spirit doing what we have to do. I mean, I can't even leave until enough of us can be spread out around this planet, and I have no idea how many decades that's going to be. I can't see my family except through glass or on a screen. And all my training, experiences, wisdom, it's all locked down here, and I want revenge too. They cost me, my friends, my family a lot. More than I want to even say. On the day of departure, we see the fleet ready to leave. And unfortunately, they won't be back for decades, considering how far they gotta go there and then come back. And Lord knows how long it's gonna be taking down wherever the hell they're gonna be going. We were able to send a message to them, though, and it was really simple. Give those motherless freaks the hell they deserve. With that on the video, everybody could see, we all stand and salute as they leave. Around the planet, humanity prepares. There's more species out there, we know it. I don't know if their pride or reason will get the better of them. We're hoping that it's the latter. Either way, if we have to show the entire universe, humans understand the concept that apparently they forgot. Fuck around and find out. Hello everybody, this is Syntex. Thank you so much for joining me on today's story. Before I go, I gotta send out some quick thank yous to some of my supporters, and those will be Erica Gem, Black Trapper, MTF Guard, SS Demon, Guardian Sage, Coslin, Sir, and Chris Dixon. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Everybody else, I'll see you on the next one. This is Syntext, punching out.